Yeah, uh, <clears throat> good afternoon. Thank you uh, for MPOC to for inviting me to speak on uh, on this conference today. Uh, title given to me is the Nisha uh, Biodiesel Program uh, toward achieving. Actually, the 20, uh, B30 is 2020. It's not 2025. So uh, we uh, will be there in very short time, you know, to reach the uh, B30. How are we going to do it? I'll explain on my presentation today. Okay. Yeah. Uh, just a background: the Nature Palm uh, Plantation Evolution. How the uh, the area increased year by year since uh, 1978. The big increase is actually happening on the uh, 19, uh, starting in 1980s, right? And uh, now we reach about uh, 14 million. Uh, but the NGO, our friends in NGO, says it's uh, actually around 18 to 20 million. We don't know, unlike Malaysia. Uh, our production export, uh, we have uh, actually 70% of our production is being exported. So this is very important uh, industry uh, for Indonesia. Uh, and it's also in very important for the, uh, our trade balance. That's why if, you, if some of you read the news from Indonesia, lately we are having quite uh, concern on our trade balance. Uh, the number one person that's being called uh, and tried to solve it is palm oil. So we all had meetings and meetings, meetings, how to, to increase the trade balance. And the result is maybe uh, we will increase uh, or we will, we will move forward the B30 uh, instead of 2020 to 2019. But when, we'll see. Uh, export destination, of course, our main uh, market is India and China and uh, EU. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm going to spend more on biodiesel later, so uh, we'll have a very nice time there. And this is from uh, a study by uh, James Fry, uh, how this, uh, the consumption, world consumption would look like by 2025. Uh, we need about 50, uh, 50 million uh, more oils uh, for the years to come. And how are we going to achieve it? Of course, palm oil is the most efficient uh, in uh, production and land use, actually, uh, compared to other oils in the world. So if we have to be given, uh, given tasks to, to fulfill the 50 million, then it is best to plant palm oil rather than soybean because we need less land uh, to do it. Now, biodiesel regulation, actually, the first mandate right, is already in the 2008. With the, and then the first revision is 2013, 14, and 15. The real story is actually on the 2014 and 15. This is why, uh, and then the, the birth of uh, BPDP, uh, the CPO fund that we know uh, now. This is how it looked like on the mandate of 2008. So the uh, public service obligation actually by then is only about 1%. 2%, uh, 2.5% by 2010. And we, we really struggle on this because the mandate is there, but there's no support. The price different again. Uh, Fry, uh, Mr. Fry already mentioned about price different, and finally, if we we'll go on, and this is the real deal actually. By July 2014, we are again the same thing: trade balance. Then we were asked to to support the trade balance, so we said. We can do that if we increase the blending, reducing import of diesel. So government agree to put the 10% blending, and by further by 
for the next January. You see, if you see the 2014 is July, Ju uh, Jan 2015 is already 15. However, we all know about what happened on the price on the 2015. The price of palm, palm oil went down. Uh, crude and palm oil went down together. But at one point, crude oil also dipped very low. It makes the producer at that time losing money. So by, by we started in, in August, by September, we already experience, experiencing losses be, because we have to pay, no, government pay us the price of diesel instead of price of buy diesel. So August is fine, you know, because we, uh, price of buy diesel uh, is, uh, price of diesel is more than buy diesel. By September, it's already at par, diesel and biodiesel. By October, diesel is already lower, but we still need to be uh, paid by diesel price. December, January, and one point, I think the, at the end of the day, in January 2015, our loss up to 125 uh, US dollar per ton. And we throw the towel. Sorry, Mr. Government, we cannot do this. We, we, are, we are bleeding to death if we are continuing doing this. That is the birth of BPDP, CPO Fund. We in the industry think that we need something, a body to support this. How? We are willing to be collected you know, from the, our export, so the fund collected can support the biodiesel program. That's how the BPDP, the CPO fund, birth. Then, 2015, more uh, ambitious that if we compare to the previous slide, the 30% is really want to be reached by 2020. How are we going to do it? As the same, uh, this is the performance of uh, biodiesel. Uh, you see, from 2009, 10, nothing, 11, a bit, yes, going, 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 and suddenly increase in 2014. But deep down again in 2015, because there's no support. This, this one point uh, domestic, the 915, is actually just at the end of the year. It's nothing. Uh, on the beginning of the year. <coughs> okay, this is uh, emission, if you talk about sustainability, traceability, blah, 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 you know, how good is biodiesel to, to the nation? Yeah, we provide jobs, of course. We, we can uh, reduce emission, but is it recognizable by a lot of people? Uh, not really, actually, you know, so, not yet. Yeah. Now, how we do it? Yeah, we did it with the road test, B20. That time, there is a Toyota, Mitsubishi, Isuzu, Chevrolet, Ford, and Hino, the truck. We do the 40,000 kilometers test run, by diesel, blending, B20. Every day is 500 kilometers. I'll show you the, the map. So the first day, the one day is from number one, uh, Serpong, up to this side, area. So it, it covers uh, city road, it covers toll road, it covers hills, right? Every type of roads it covers. Second day also like that. So this one to two is 500 kilometers. The next day, two to one. And these people do it all and all and all and all for until 4,000 kilometers. That year, Toyota continued to 100,000. Yeah. And we also have a, I don't know if uh, this uh, Malaysian industry already have this, 
the Japan Automobile Manufacturer Association has already uh, released a document to say that we are supporting biodiesel D20 with condition. I don't remember the, what is exact condition, but Japan, Japanese cars is already able to take uh, biodiesel with B20. And, and the condition is actually now is met by Indonesian producers of biodiesel. And of, of course, Malaysia will be the same. I believe that. You know. So the document, uh, you can Google it. Uh, in, in, uh, you just Google Japan Automotive Manufacturer on biodiesel, you can have it on, on the web. Okay, now what is next? We've been hearing James is uh, mentioning about the non-PSO by 1st of September. Is it going to happen? Yes. Is it in the uh, full force, 100% on the first day? No. But it will happen by 1st of September. Uh, now it's 29. Yesterday, we already received the uh, regulation, the total number allocated for non-PSO. It's about 940,000 uh, kiloliters, about 820 uh, metric ton of CPO will be used there. And uh, the, the, the big question actually, is it going to be smooth or not? because we still need a lot of administration work to be done, contract with Pertamina, contract with uh, all other uh, uses of uh, 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 non-PSO. And also the, uh, the, 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 the regulation that says from uh, September to December. The non-PSO, September to December, the PSO also, it extended until December. So, by you know, uh, if I calculate it right, the uh, the demand for total year of uh, biodiesel in Indonesia is about four and a half million metric ton. We have used about 1.7 uh, until no two about two million until August. So we have another two and a half from September, October, November, December. You can calculate it, about 600 uh, ton uh, per month. Then, the, now also, Indonesian government work on the specification of B30. This is, this is why, uh, and then if the specification of B30 is finished, completed, then we will do the testing, the road test again, which I expect it will be done by latest by January 2019. And the automakers in Indonesia requesting to have uh, 100,000 uh, kilometers testing. And I, I think we, we, will, uh, we, we will be able to, to do that, 100,000. Okay? So, B30, if 100,000, uh, it means that by, by First quarter or half of second, second quarter of 2019, it will be finished, completed. By second semester 2019, we might move to B30, you know, instead of 2020. We don't know yet. So, but looking at the uh, timing of regulation, timing of testing, I would expect government to move B30 as soon as possible when all uh, testing and all uh, related uh, technicality is completed. Right? Now, the heavy equipment industry also have tested their own blending. They do this uh, independently, like Caterpillar. You know, they, they've used B5, B10, B15 on their two main dump trucks, the huge uh, for the uh, mining sector. In Cummins Engine also do that, you know, with, with uh, certain uh, specification, Komatsu, and the Pindad. Pindad is the in, uh, Indonesia uh, military industry. They have used B50, 
in one of the tanks. They go round and round testing the B-50. And what they say is, no problem. But it's not official yet, but it's just uh, informally they said, it's no problem. No problem. Even they try to, uh, to have the tank uh, going, uh, driving on a hill with 50 degree using B-50. And it says the power is there. So, my brothers in Malaysia, come on, not B-7. Right. Right. We, Indonesia, Malaysia is the biggest producer of palm oil. We can control palm oil market. Let's do together, you know. We've been doing our, our own uh, homework. Why not, you know, our fellow brothers talk up to car manufacturer, you know, do the test, your own, you know. Go the, uh, the car going from Johor to, uh, what is Kelantan? Johor, Kelantan every day, you know, pick up the road, you know. Let's do this. Also, locomotive testing, you know. We, we, we did this uh, 60,000 60, kilo, 65,000 kilometers, just completed. And they uh, open all the uh, engine break it down, you know, try to find what is wrong with this. The fuel, the nozzle, the, the whatever, it's all fine, you know. Yes, all this testing says that at first, it shows like uh, cracking at first. But when it's continuing using the B blending, uh, the uh, gas oil or diesel blending, it doesn't show anymore. I've said to the, uh, even to the media, I have my own car, is the uh, Fortuner with the uh, diesel. I've used it since B20 is, is being uh, implemented. And uh, I haven't heard any from the workshop saying that, Pa, your car is broken due to by diesel. No. I don't even have an invoice to say that the seal is broken or the nozzle is wrong or blah, blah, blah. All fine until now. Yeah. Like I said, the parameters, this is the proposed, this is a bit technical. Uh, if my fellow Malaysia can see what we are doing, it's available, I can give it to you. What is the whole parameters of biodiesel for B30 that they are, they are testing now? Uh, the industry tried to find, uh, asking about cold filter, plugging point, whatever, I don't know what it, what it is, but we tried to accommodate that uh, with our technology available. Like I said, my best estimate uh, will be, if, if the specification can be done by November, by December we, we go, but maybe, uh, yeah. End of the, the end of 2018 can also be done. Right? Thank you.